Oh, nothing. I just didn't realize how much time had passed. The box is pretty dusty, which means it's already been a while since I've moved into this place, and many years since my mother moved to Fontaine. I'm happy for her. I hope she'll be able to find happiness there. She raised me all by herself after my father passed away. It definitely wasn't easy for her. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's see what I packed into this box. Uh, what are all these things? Oh, I remember now. This is a drawing I made in Port Ormos. Obviously, I wouldn't call it anything special now, but I was less than five years old when I made this drawing. That's more than 20 years ago. <laughs> you could say it's pretty good for a child of that age. Hmm, now that I've said that out loud, I suppose I do have some level of artistic talent, right? Criticism and self-doubt have always been a part of the artistic process. Without criticism, there can be no improvement. It's normal for me to question my abilities from time to time. I admit that I may have spent a little too long questioning myself this time around, but as you know, the heart tends to dwell on whatever it pleases. <sighs> anyway, never mind. The more I talk about it, the less confident I feel. Let's see what else we have in the box. Ah, my building blocks! It's been years since I've last seen these. When I was a kid, I used to stack them super high, and could even stabilize the tower to keep it from tumbling over. Oh, and this blueprint. <laughs> I made it by copying my mother's sketch, and the aspect ratio was horrendous. It's still technically the first blueprint I made myself, though. I was super proud of myself when I finished it, and put it in the same pile as my mother's sketches, hoping she'd notice and compliment me for my good work. Unfortunately, my mother didn't realize that I had put it there. When she had a meeting with a client the next day, she handed my blueprint to him by mistake. The client was completely confused by this new blueprint, but apparently he felt too tongue-tied to question such a famous architect. It was only a few days later that he finally gathered up the courage to pay my mother a visit. He asked, the door in this blueprint is even taller than the roof. Is this supposed to be part of the design? My mother took me with her to personally apologize to the client several times. She didn't scold me about it in private, though. Instead, she went over all the steps required to draw a good blueprint, and was very patient throughout the whole process. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Hmm. Let's see, is there anything else left in this box? Huh. What was this again? Ah, this is my mother's notebook. She used to write and sketch in it all the time. When I was a child, I used to be super fascinated by this notebook, and always pestered my mother to let me read it. After asking her a few times, she told me that I could read it as long as I could guess the password. Huh. Wonder why she didn't take this notebook with her. Did she leave it to me on purpose? <laughs> if only I could. I never managed to guess the password. Hey, it's not a matter of time, it's a matter of inspiration. That's what we need to guess the password. Who knows, maybe this time something will click in my head, and the answer will just present itself. Let me think. Hmm. What could it be? <laughs> I could tell what you were thinking. Don't worry, I tried all the easy guesses a long time ago. I've tried my name, my father's name, my mother's name, my grandparents' names on both sides, and all of our birthdays. I've tried every name and number remotely related to my family. I've even tried stuff like Love You Cave, Take Care, and Yours Truly. I've tried every cheesy phrase and well wish in the book, but this lock has refused to budge. I wouldn't try that route again. I have a hunch that it won't be that simple. 
Also, if she really did use something like that, she'd never hear the end of it from the folks over at Haravatat if they ever found out. <laughs>